Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a hypermature cataract. The patient came to me with mature senile cataract seven years back in 2014. An old lady, the other eye has partial optic atrophy and RAPD in the right eye and this is the left eye. Pupillary reflex is brisk. I advised cataract surgery seven years back and it is a pity that the lady waited seven years to get this surgery done. I was not sure whether I will be able to do FACO in this case so I have applied a supererectus brittle suture and now I am attempting FACO first in this case. Two incisions, main incision and a side port. Done and now the anterior capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble. And now the this is adrenaline. And this is phenocaine. Though the patient is under peribulbar block, applied phenocaine because phenocaine has got some dilating effect on the people. Though the people is well dilated, I applied all these agents to maintain the dilatation. And now I am using a cystitome, a 26 case band needle to raise a capsular tag. And this cataract has gone through hypermature Morgagnian stage. And now we will see that the epinucleus has become like GG material, solid cheesy material we will see in a short time. At this time I am judging whether the junular strength is ok or not and fortunately the junule is ok in this case. And this is an optimum sized rexus. Fairly round rexus. Now as I rotate the nucleus, you can see the white cheesy material at the equator. I wanted to clean those white material for a better visibility and here you can see this epinucleus which has turned like card is turned like solid cheesy material is slowly coming out and you can see the hard brown nucleus I was ready with a CTR that is a capsular tension ring which I thought will be necessary in this case but till now I don't see any sign of genular weakness so I want to give a try without the CTR. The interchamber is filled up with visco And now the FACO needle is introduced. We will down some superficial lens matter aspirated and here it is my technique which I call submarine chop and 
the nucleus has divided nicely into two heminuclei. Though the nucleus is brown, it's not very hard and I could crack the nucleus quite easily. And now I am trying to emulsify the nuclear bases. Ultrasonic energy used is 80 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury till now. And the whole surgery has been done in this setting except the last nuclear piece. There is no epinuclear cushion, so you have to be very careful. There should not be any starch, and one nuclear piece should be always supporting the posterior capsule. This is the nuclear piece. At this time I am in FECO 3 mode where the vacuum is 250 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 25 ml per minute. Stability of the entity chamber is much more with this setting. The machine being used is Oatley Caterix 3 from Switzerland. At this time I am supporting the posterior capsule by the chopper and it is done. Posterior capsule is intact. Most of the cortical matter is removed. Few fibers are there. There's some cortex in the sub incisional area. And it has come as I try to remove those going through the side port. But there are some cortex, some lens fibers at around 12.30 o'clock. So I made another side port and remove those. Now I inject visco to fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and then implant a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens. The lens has been nicely placed in the capsular bag and now a nice cleaning of the visco is done. As the visco is being cleaned let us review the case. An old lady about 75 years old and she has been kept blind for seven years. When I asked the relatives of the patient why it is so, then they said most of the 
Kit and Keen of this lady work outside and they didn't find time to take her to the doctor and that is a pity this lady has supported this lady has raised sons and daughters and we can easily make out how difficult it is to raise a son and a daughter and if they don't take time to take care of the old mother it's real pity legally it is not an offense but morally it is it is unbearable it's too much we should take care of our parents or grandparents that should be a priority okay now the visco has been cleaned and the anti chamber has been nicely formed integrity of all the wounds is checked since we have nicely completed feco the superiorectus brittle suture is removed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will increase your surgical skills not only that i want people to realize that we should have compassion we should have empathy and we should have love for old people